Tomorrow is Budget Day for the State Government. It will be Colin Barnett's third and the first for Treasurer Christian Porter. State political reporter Alicia O'Flaherty joins me now from Parliament House. And Alicia, how important will this budget be for the WA Government? Well, Karina, according to the Premier, this is the most important budget of the government's term. Colin Barnett says while previous budgets have very much focused on getting the economics right and getting some of the state's major projects underway, he says this one will put more of an emphasis on social issues. So the government will be keen to promote this as a compassionate budget and be hoping that it's remembered that way in the lead up to the next election in two years. Here's some of what the Premier had to say earlier today. Uh, if you use a football analogy, the third quarter is the Premiership quarter. Uh, this is our third budget and uh, it is the one in which we are uh, making giant steps forward in trying to share some of the benefits of this state's prosperity with the people most in need. Alicia, what can we expect in the budget? Karina, the government's made very few pre-budget announcements, but what I do know is the big ticket item is a major funding boost for the not-for-profit sector of hundreds of millions of dollars over the next few years, and that's to help them deliver welfare services. However, households won't escape unscathed in tomorrow's budget, with electricity prices set to rise by about 5% and water set to go up by about 7%. And the Treasurer, Christian Porter, was very keen to uh, defend the need for the increases in tomorrow's budget during question time today. He described them as very modest but necessary. So we look forward to seeing the full budget details when it's handed down tomorrow afternoon.